<laughs> hey, darling. Okay, so what do you think about the bedroom? Ah! Hmm. <laughs> Babe. Beautiful. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> and this place? This place is as beautiful as that bedroom. How did you do it? <laughs> you know, this is exactly how I like it. Hmm. Mm hmm You know, for a second, I was scared that you were not going to like it. I mean, mm -hmm. considering that it's, uh, this place is not as big as our former place. Ah, uh, no. I really do yeah. like it a lot. But I have to get this place because um, it's close to my new posting. Now, seeing that you like it has given me some sort of relief, you know. Oh, I love it, isn't it, baby? Yes, it is. I'm it's so beautiful. It. Thank you, my love. And your bedroom? I love it. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> oh, you do. Mm. Okay. So you like the colors we picked, right? Yes. <laughs> so, so, what did you say to him? <laughs> of course. Who else? Tarisa, <laughs> please. Let's not have this discussion right now, okay? Let's talk about something different, something fun, you know? Or watch this interesting movie. <laughs> Cora, mm? what could be more fun than my friend giving love a second chance? I did last time. And after that, no thank you. I'm done. I'm talking about real love shown by real men. Not men that don't know what they want. Buddy, I am going to be fine, okay? Just let it go. Everything will be all right. That's what you've been saying. For how long? Girl, it's been seven freaking years. Buddy, how long it takes doesn't matter. What matters is the scars that was left behind. And I'm healing. I'll be fine. I just need time. Girl, but that's what you've been saying. That's what you've been saying all these years. I am married with kids. When are you going to get up with that stupid... That... Girl, please. Padita. I said it's okay. I don't want to talk about it again. Let it go. I'll be alright. I'll be fine. Cora! Paddy! Ah. Don't miss me. No, I won't. <laughs> Let's go to work. Oh my God. I thought this was all over. Over. Yes, Nadia, I saw her. I saw Cora. What still? Jared saw her too. What if she came to visit somebody and you saw her leaving? Thing. It's driving me crazy. Crazy! No, no, no. Wait. Okay, let's check it. What's the possibility that she's living yet? I mean, almost zero. Lagos is a very big city. You might even never see her again. Please, my girlfriend, cheer up. Okay? Do you think so, Nadia? At least we need to be sure before we conclude. Hmm? Please. Cheer up. Cheer up. <laughs> you know, after all these years, I never thought I could set my eyes on those. Those. <sighs> but they stared at me. I could feel how uncomfortable I made them. As you should. Come, have you seen you? Have you seen yourself? Have you looked at yourself in the mirror? Girl, you've grown. You are prettier. You have more money. I mean, you moved from your old neighborhood to a, to a newer one. They had no choice but to stare at you, my love. And I just feel so vengeful. Like, there's this part of me that just wants to... I don't understand how you feel, trust me. But it's not worth it. It's not. It's not. After everything they did to me. Ah, my God, some people are so funny. Ah! I know. 
Mm. I cannot believe that man had the guts to send his wife to go fight for him. <laughs> they would have beaten her black and blue. <laughs> Give up for the intervention of people. <laughs> black and blue, my love. Give me your hand. Would you fight for me if I was in such a position? <laughs> wow. You're joking, right? No, I'm not. You know I can't. You know I don't have such strength. You wanted to beat me. Tear this beautiful face you married. <laughs> me. Fight. Nah. Mm. Definitely not me. Ow. But I'd rather die than watch anybody lift a finger against you. Come and Let's do go. what? Come and do what? You oh, let's think of something to you eat now. Started. I was busy watching the fights. I'm so famished. Uh, okay. I forgot to eat. I thought, I thought you were asking for something else. <laughs> something else like what? <laughs> you know what I mean. Come on. And even if I ask for you, what happens? <clears throat> Just eat, please. Should, ah! I, should I sit here and wait? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, yeah. get it ready. Mm. Finally. Uh -huh. That reminds me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, I haven't seen your friend for some time now. Like she hasn't been coming around. What's her mm -hmm. name again? Um, Adita. No, 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 the other one. Demi. Demi, yeah. Yeah, okay. You guys good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. Why? Yeah, it looks like I. I see you more with Padita, you know, and not Demi. No, nah, I'm good with Demi, with you. She just traveled to the south side to see her sick mom. Okay. Plus, she's dealing with a messy breakup. Uh -huh. It's bad. I feel so yeah. bad for her. Hmm. Is everything okay? Sure. Mm. You know, just looking out for my my wife and her best friends. Oh, for my sweet husband, <laughs> Mr. Carey. Thank you. You're welcome. Although my sweet caring husband mm -hmm. forgot to compliment my cooking, but it's fine. <laughs> Come on. I know it's in my heart, so I, I did well. You did. You need no compliment. Mm. You already know that you're a great well, cook. I still want to hear it. Well, I love your cooking. <laughs> Tell me, you need to stop. Too. I'm telling no, you. No, but I'm serious. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I know it's not funny. I, I try to make my jokes out of it, but honestly. Okay. Almost all relationships are horrible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You and Cora are just lucky you have great men. Oh, But then you know that all you have to do is open up your mind. Then you will find great men too. The last one was a disaster. Yes, we agree. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that the next one would be. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cora, that is exactly what you keep saying. You know that. But you see, nothing ever changes. I keep saying it because that's the truth. It mm. will. You just have to believe. Please tell her. <laughs> we tell her all the time. Tell her. <laughs> okay, guys. Mm -hmm. Changing the topic to a more positive light. My husband okay. and I are planning a vacay. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Enjoyment wow. love it. I think that is Always. great to hear. Great, but what about work? True. Hello. I work in this company. We are the bosses. Uh, okay. <laughs> also, as you are in and out as we <laughs> like. <laughs> now that's the spirit now. Boss lady. Boss <laughs> You know that. <laughs> oh my goodness, shoot. I am supposed to meet with the mechanic at mm. 4 p.m. Guys, okay. and I am 30 minutes late. Mm. I have to go. Okay? To be honest, okay. Just I'm no, but I have to go. I love you guys. Okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bye, darling. Bye, sugar. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. You're looking so good for someone that is going uh, to make a Please. Uh-uh. <laughs> 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 just for you. Just get, I want it. Uh-uh. Yes. 
I want to gist you. You're telling me about Get it. Get me a glass of juice first. Then we can have any conversation. Nice one. one. Nice one. Nice one. <laughs> I'll make sure that it's cold though. <laughs> if it's not cold, you're returning it. Yes, ma. Mm hmm. Jared, what are you doing here? I should be asking you that. Promise you to call? Oh yes, my car broke down. Um, it, it, it has refused to start. I don't know, I'm just trying to call my mechanic, but I don't know what's going on with him. Okay, um, which way are you going? You could, you could join me, I'll drop you off and then have my mechanic come pick it up. Uh, thank you, but you know, I, I, I actually have to wait around the car, you know, in case somebody comes around. Okay. So why don't we wait in my car then? Let's let's wait together. Uh, okay. Of course we will close the I can do that. Yeah, you can. Yes, let, okay. me, let me help with that. Mm. Um, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. All right, this way. So um, I, I need to take my purse from the car. <laughs> We're just waiting in the car. Okay, in the car. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Jared. There's nothing. <laughs> Not at all, now. Why would you say that? You made sure my car was towed to the mechanic. <clears throat> Not only that, you also made sure I had lunch. It's a lot. Well, that was me just looking out for a friend, okay? Mm, a wise friend. A wise friend. <laughs> I heard about your failed relationship. Oh, uh, yeah. Cora also told me about your mom. I heard she's getting better. Mm. You know, I, I like the fact that you pay attention to details. Anyway, thank you. That's that's life for you. Things like that happen. But 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 it, but it's a lot. I'm sorry. Hmm? Thank you. And if for any reason you need a shoulder to lean on, I'm always here. Um, <clears throat> Jared, um, thank you. But um, you're my friend's husband. Okay, so I don't think I want any problems. She doesn't have to know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me take you home before it gets late. Yeah, sure. You ready? Yeah, ready. Let's go. I'm so sorry. I I had a little setback on my way back and I had to sort that out. I'm sorry. You got me so scared. It's okay, I'm sorry. Don't do that again. Don't. I'm so sorry. I had a bad day.
at this time, Jared. Corrible She's sleeping. Alright, I just got to I just got to know how you're doing. It's not that serious. It's 1 a.m. It's serious. Look, I just wanted to make sure you're fine and not bothering about your car. I miss you. What? Go to bed, Jack. I do. I'm serious. I enjoyed the time we spent today. You know, all the laughter we shared. The peaceful moment. Everything. I haven't had so much fun in a while, you know. Oh, Jared. You know, I could actually arrange for you to visit. Tomorrow? What? Are you crazy? Come on, just a friendly visit, okay? I mean, today, not tomorrow. I mean, it's a new day. It's already 1 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I have to go now. Just wanted to hear your sweet, melodious voice before I sleep. Thanks. Thanks, Jared. I'll talk to you later. Maybe tomorrow. I mean, today. <laughs> Babe, hmm? how about you have dinner with your friends later today? What? Yeah, like, you know, have fun. I'm just suggesting, come on. I, mean, I know it's something you always like. Mm. So is this piece of from what you did last night? What are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about the sex that you refused to give me last night. You promised to give me this morning, but you're already dressed. Babe, some of us have work to go to, okay? Sex can happen any other time. Jerry. In case you decide on the dinner thing, just let me know so I can send money. Love you! So that was really funny. It was, it was, it was. Wait, he wants us to have dinner in his house. That's weird. No, it's not weird. He wants me to have dinner with my friends and we're having dinner at his house and he's going to be there. So. Hmm. I know what you're thinking. Don't think too much of it, okay? Come off it. He pays attention to details and he mm -hmm. wants me to be happy and he knows my friends make me happy, so. Mm-hmm. How is it going, Cora? What? With you and Jared. Um, well, I want to have kids so bad. I'm so ready to take in, but he's not. He claims he wants to be present in his child's life when the child comes, and his current job will not let him do that right now, so we have to wait. So he's basically picking his job over family. No. Okay. His family needs the job as well. He's just asking for time. I understand him. Well, wait. Oh, well, if you say so. So, so far, are we still going to that? Ah, yeah, I'm not going again, no. You're going alone again. <laughs> well, no, but I you're don't have to. Mm -hmm. I'm not going. I can't come. So, what have you ladies been up to? I mean, it's been a while you came around for lunch or dinner. They do come over just when you're at work. They do? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, we've been busy with being wives and working as well. Mm. And what about you? Oh, oh, me? Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> um, I have been, you know, trying to recover from a, a heartbreak. I mean, we, we all know that, right? I'm just trying to move on. Yeah, Th that's all. Aww. Sorry about that. Oh. 
What? Are you okay? Ooh, I'm sure she's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, cheers, cheers everybody, cheers. cheers. <laughs> cheers, baby. It's love and friendship. Mm. <laughs> yeah, look at my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Ah, you too. That was a great meal. Thank you. Thank you guys. Oh, come on. It was nice having my girls around. Perhaps we should do this again. Yeah. More often. Yeah, sure. Yes, we should. What do you think? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll be heading home now. Good night, guys. And thank you once again. Huh? Um, I, um, you go ahead. I, I'll just stay here, order an Uber, and wait till it arrives. Yeah? Good night. I don't know, no, I'll drop you off, huh? Don't worry. Come. How are you going to do that? We live on different ends of the town. Don't forget. Don't worry, Demi. I said I'll drop you off. Come, let's go. Oh, come on. Let's go. Let's go, Demi. <laughs> Bye, girls. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Mm. Thank you so much, my love. Anything for my queen? Anything? Mm -hmm. Okay. What? Nothing. <gasps> so I can fool my man again. What's hmm? that? Oh, wait, wait. Babe! Oh, what is it? What is the meaning of this? You don't know? No, what? Demi, I saw the way you both looked at each other. Demi, Carol is your friend. You should respect that. But I did nothing. You didn't? Didn't you go out with him? Smiling at each other over a meal while his wife, your friend, sat on the same table. My tummy is really heavy. We just finished eating. You shouldn't be thinking about sex. Oh. Okay, what exactly is going on here? Do I have to beg you for every damn thing? Recently you act like my marital right is something I should beg you for. What is that? Can you, can you bring down your voice? Why? Huh? Are you ashamed that you will hear me? Oh, that is more important to you. It's more important than satisfying me as your wife. Come on, babes. I just need a little time to rest. That's all I ask. Jared, you've been resting for weeks now. <sighs> you know what? You can go ahead and rest. But I will never ask you for this again. And that's a promise. Babe, come on. Babe, it hasn't gotten to that. Come on now. <sighs> Babe. Have you been watching me? Oh my God. So of all the things I said, that's what you chose to take out of it. For goodness sake, this is the height of disrespect. Listen, I don't know what is going on here, okay? I don't know what you have going on. <laughs> but whatever you think you have going on, you are wrong, okay? Take me home. Demi, place boundaries, okay? Whatever it is that you're brewing into, you better stop it, okay? Stop it before you do something that you're going to regret. Padita, padita, padita! Don't lecture me like I'm a child, okay? Don't do it. If I tell you that there is nothing to worry about, then no, no, there no. is nothing. Let's go home. I've told you. I've told you. That you could see the future when we started together. The reason why I sing this song is so that you know I love you. <laughs> Hey, 
babe. Do you get home safely? What is she doing here? What exactly is she looking for? Dad, are you talking to me? Of course not. All right, let's go. Let me buy you a very big cone of ice cream, okay? Daddy, thank you! Hold up. Did you hear what I said, honey? Honey? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what? <clears throat> yeah. What's up? You, you were saying? Is everything okay? Because you seem so far away. Yeah, I'm good. What's up? What are you saying? I was saying that Alicia's teacher called today. Oh, okay. She did? So, what did she say? It's okay. I can handle it. Of course. I knew you could handle it. That you could see the future when we started together. The reason why I sing the song is so that you know I love you. I can't make up a toy, you see, now, woman, my can love again. Um, where are you going to, my love? Out. Uh, today is Saturday. You really go out on Saturdays. Well, not when I have somewhere important to be. Um, okay. Can you at least have breakfast? I'm not hungry. But you can have it. I'll be fine. Um. That reminds me, don't wait up for me. I might be returning really late. Um, can you at least tell me where you're going to? So that what will happen? This is what it has gotten to? You now question my every movement? Really? Huh? Well, I'm going to work. And just in case you still want to know where I'm going to, I am going to my office. Now, how many offices do I have? Huh? I just, I just wanted to... I... <laughs> Babe, I... I beg you. I know you're busy, but just come to the house. If I don't talk to someone right now, I will go crazy. Please, buddy, please. Thank you. Daddy, at this point, I think I'm about to lose my mind. At first, I thought I was overthinking, but the more I think about it, the more I feel that there's something actually wrong with my marriage. Something is indeed going on. If you asked him anything, so I'll go to him and ask him, ah, baby, please tell me, are you cheating on me? <laughs> Cora, I don't know, like, I mean... 
my husband hasn't touched me for weeks now. I'm beginning to think that that dinner he threw the other day was just an excuse. You know, something to preoccupy my mind so I don't ask him for sex. Hmm. How much do you trust Gerald, Cora? With all my heart. Okay, then let's not conclude on anything yet, okay? Let's just watch and see. Hmm? It's just that when men start behaving like this, the chances are they're actually seeing someone. I know, I know, I know. I said let's not conclude yet now. I mean, he actually might be going through something that he doesn't want to, you know, tell you about. There's a whole lot of possibilities of so many things. Hmm? Like I said, calm down. Let's not conclude on anything yet. Hmm? <laughs> it's not that deep. Where are you coming from? Cora, I'm not doing this tonight, all right? Not right now. You leave the house and you come home close to midnight and you won't tell me anything. If something is wrong, I have the right to know. I am your wife! Well, you're right about something. It's almost midnight. Now, there's nowhere on earth I'm starting a fight at this time of the night. All right, go to bed! Uh, your phone is ringing. Pick it up. You call at almost midnight. Where is it? How about you mind your business? Like what is it? You're beginning to nag a lot these days and it's becoming annoying. Please out of my way. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. I got to know if you would be free tomorrow so we can hang out. Um, tomorrow is... Sunday. Oh, yes, it is. Please, let's hang out together and have some fun. You're in working tomorrow, right? Please. <sighs> okay, fine. Yeah, just test me the time and we'll be good. 2 p.m., babe. 2 p.m., I'll pick you up. Okay, sure. Welcome, welcome to my humble abode. Yeah, yeah, I know it's small and <laughs> it's nothing compared to yours. But it's still beautiful. Thank you. Thanks for letting me come. You're welcome. So, um, what would you like me to offer you? Do you want wine, juice, water? I want you. I want you. Tell me. Excuse me. Yeah. 
It's you that I want. I don't want to keep you guessing, all right? I am heavily attracted to you. Of course, I'm not here because I can't afford juice, wine, water. Jared, Jared, I, I, I'm not sure I'm following. What I mean is I'm madly attracted to you. Are you out of your mind? Jared, you are married. Okay, muscle to my friend, my own friend. Being married does not mean that I'm happy. Yes, I am married. Am I happy? No, that's a lie, Jared. You know that's a lie. Okay, I've seen the way you look at Cora. You're not just happy being with her. You are madly in love with her. Jared, nothing can happen between us. Okay, it's impossible. So why did you let me come here? That's because you don't even believe that nothing can happen between us. Somewhere deep down in your heart, you want this to happen. And that's why you let me come here. That's you. Um, <clears throat> do I know you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just, I just want to make make sure it's me. Well, yes, it is me. But the problem is, I don't know you. Cora, <laughs> come on, it's, it's, it's me. Oh yes, I did know someone with your face. He looks exactly like you, mm. but he's dead. Cora, come on. Listen, I don't like it when strangers creep up on me. I don't know you. And I don't care who you think I was. Okay? I carry my weapons and I know how to use them. Now crawl back into any grave you came out from and leave me the hell alone. Crawl. Last warning. What nonsense! I mean, what is even giving this guy the gods to even come before you again? Girl, do you know what my anger is? Ha! I was looking at him, and all I can think about is just to, you know, take this poof in his nose and punch his face in. Come here to talk to me. Just pay no mind to that guy, I beg, please. Ah. Ah! Who says I was paying him any mind? See, my anger is this. He had the effrontery to come and stand in front of me and say rubbish to me. After everything that he did, his audacity for me. Hey. His audacity is smelling. Honestly, that guy is actually trash. Big one. Absolute trash. So big, big trash. Hey! Please, again, if he shows his face here again, just slam it with restraining order. As I should. He should go back to that slot. Pardon me. <laughs> what? Yes, what did I say? What do you call someone that sleeps around? A slot. I mean, those two people are actually disgrace. Please, they deserve each other. Please. Hmm? please, let's forget about the disgraceful people. And take about something more exciting, mm -hmm. like the fact that I said yes to going on a date with Charles today. No. Yes. You are lying. I'm not. Stop it. I'm not joking. <laughs> Girl, eh? I'm so happy for you. Thank you, thank you. You know you okay. deserve this, right? You do. I'm just so happy that those people did not meet you where you left them. I beg. Oh, I'm happy for you. Thank I'm you, happy. my love. Happy. Now you're going okay? to help me pick out what to wear. You trust your girl now. Because baby girl has let's to go, look let's good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Should I get your phone? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Let's go, let's go. Waste no time, please. Oh, yes, yes. I did remember someone that looks exactly like you. But um, he's dead. Jared. Hmm? Something I need to talk to you about. Okay. Yeah? Cora is our new neighbor. Okay, so... What am I supposed to do? Huh? Should I go kick her out? No, I want to know. Look, babes. You and I are married, alright? What business do you have with my ex-wife? An ex-wife who was also my friend. Of course that's supposed to make me nervous. Demi, it's a new day, all right? Please don't do this, Demi, please. Oh, so it's now Demi. Oh, God. It's no longer babe or honey, but Demi? Listen, Jared. I don't want this new situation to change things between us. What are you talking about? Demi, we're married. We have a child. Okay? I have loved you for seven years. Now, what makes you think that bumping into Cora will change that now? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Jared, you will not just be bumping into her now. Okay? She lives in the next flat. So you will be bumping into her frequently. Oh, God. And honestly, I don't like that for you. Neither for me. She filed the divorce, all right? Besides, all that is in the past now. Is it? Yes. Jared, I still see the hate in her eyes. Oh, God. Okay? That woman detests us. Demi. Look, it's too early for this, okay? I need to forward the document to my secretary. Okay, would you let me do that, please? Please don't forget we have lunch later on with Nadia at the restaurant. No, I think this would fit better. Try this one. Try it. Mm. Oh, it looks absolutely perfect. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Girl, I'm so worried. I just want everything to be perfect. You know, it's our first date. I want everything to be given. My darling, mm. this look is given tang and more. Absolutely love it. Sure? <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, okay. Mm. He's here. He is? Yes. That's one. Tick, yes, tick, 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 tick. Just put it in your bag. Oh, right? Put it in your bag. Oh, no, and just have fun, okay? Okay, my love. Yes. Forget about Gerald and Demi, okay? Those two don't deserve you giving them any single thoughts, okay? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you know I will. Now that I know that you're in safe hands, let yes. me go back to my husband. No, no, where's the other guy? He's here. Thank you. Yes. Come in. Of course. Right behind you. Jared, what's going on with you? I don't understand what you're saying. I don't get you. Why, why are you trying to brush this whole thing off as if it's nothing? Look, I saw the way you filmed because that guy was holding her waist. What the hell is going on, Jared? I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean what the hell is going on? What, what are you talking about? You literally stop every single time you see Cora. Are you still in love with her? 
You bring this up all the time and it's beginning to irk me. Like, do I always have to explain myself to you? Do I always have to prove myself to you? Jared, I see how you always stop every time you see Cora. Are you still in love with her? Wow. You know, if you want this date to happen, I am game. But if you don't, I will gladly step down of the, from this car and go back home. So what will it be? Seriously, doesn't mean it. Mm. I do mean it. Most of these restaurants, all they have is the name. Mm. Their food is horrible. You're right. One time, I went to a five star restaurant and I ordered for chicken. When they brought this chicken to me, I wanted to cry. Mm. I spent 14,000 naira on this chicken wow. and it's so dry, so small. It looked like they killed some premature baby chicken and served to me. Uh, horrible. Sorry <laughs> about that. Thankfully, this is it. I checked this place out a few times before picking it. Yeah, I like it. It's a nice place. And yes. The food is nice too. Yeah, and it's luxury as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Hey, Claudia. Mm. Hey, Demi. Exactly. It's more. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, Nadia, can I quickly see you outside? Please. What's up? Babe, I'll be with you shortly. Excuse me. Just meters away from our table. Yes. The one with that man. Yeah, I saw her. What about her? That is the woman I've been telling you about. Jeez. Wait. You mean Jerry's ex wife? Exactly. She is freaking hot. I mean, she's hotly ridiculous. What do you want us to do? Should we change restaurants? I wish I can change. I wish I can change restaurants, but you know, Jared, he will not agree. I think Jared is. He's jealous. Yes, he is. And I am very sure he's still in love with her. I see the way he looks at her every single time he sees her. I mean, what do you expect? They were once a couple. I mean, you should freak out anytime you get to see her. It's no more.
You know that if you don't like the food, we can change restaurants? The yeah. food is fine. All right? Okay. Um, you know, I was thinking that after food, we can go to, you know, the swimming place and swim, just you and I. And maybe Nadia? What'd you say? Jared. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Um, you ladies can go. I I'll just go home after the meal. No, no. Babe, you know you love to swim with me, so it's better I'm not in the mood to swim. Why'd you like to force things? <laughs> when a man says he's not in the mood, he's not in the mood. Let him be. Eat up. Eat. You know, I don't know which one is more annoying. The fact that she ignores me, makes me look like I'm insignificant, or the fact that she even looks prettier. Damn it. You should focus more on occupying your husband's mind. Because a lot is really going on through his mind. And from the look of things, he's not taking it well, isn't he? Listen, Nadia, I caught him trying to get her attention this morning. And what happened? She wasn't having it. You see, just let him be. Give him a little time, okay? Please, eat, let's go. You said something about not seeing your period. Have you seen it now? No. No, and you're not bothered? I've only been sexually active with you, so no, I'm not bothered. What do you mean you're not bothered? What if you're pregnant? I mean, we've been at this thing for the past two months. Jared, you said it yourself. You said you're tired of your marriage with Cora. 
You said you're even thinking of saving her papers, processing divorce papers. For God's sakes, Demi, what has that got to do with anything? Jared. See, we can start our own family. Yes, a family that you would love. You have to run the test, all right? And tell me what the result is. And then we'll take you from there. I have to leave now. Hello, Demi. How is it? It's positive, Jared. You're pregnant. My goodness. That cannot be. You know what? I'm coming to your place now, so we'll talk about how to handle this, okay? What do you mean, take care of it? This is my child. Our child, and I'm keeping it. What are you saying? Come on, Amel. I have a family here. I have a family, for God's sakes. What are you saying? Look, look you can't keep that pregnancy. What was that? You said you were going to divorce her. Now is the right time. This pregnancy is a sign from God that we're meant to be. Damn it, listen. Damn it, listen to me. Listen. Babe. I heard everything. Demi, you've been cheating on me with my friend. You're having an affair with Demi. I should spread that for you. For you. talk about this like a couple. Hey, please, I'm sorry. Jared! Can we, can we talk about this? Let's look for a way to fix you this. You have no right to talk to me in your life again. In this your life? Don't you ever talk to me? Don't you ever come close to me? You see me? You are done! Babe. Cheating bastard! Babe, 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 come on, baby. We, we, we can actually talk about this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is this? I have done this supply. Everything went as planned, of course. Uh, give me a minute, I'll call you back. How may I help you? You silly, stupid. I, I know you, you're the guy from the restaurant. Are you feeling me? He's drunk, okay? Sorry, sorry about that. He's drunk. Yeah, you're getting creep off yourself. What's wrong with you? Charles? Oh, thanks. You're still here? Is everything okay? I thought I heard you talking to someone. Yeah, um, I saw him. I mean, them. Uh, the couple from the restaurant. Do you know them? He looked like he wanted a fight. What? Do you know them? No, I don't. 
Don't pay them any attention. I'm sure it's just my silly neighbors, okay? It's nothing just serious. Maniacal. All right. Um, <clears throat> thanks for today. I had a lot of fun. Let's do this every other time. Um, I'll think about it. Like I said, I still need time, okay? Okay, I'll wait. I mean, I will, definitely. Just let me know whenever you're ready. Yeah. Uh, let me run along. Let okay. me walk you to the car park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had so much fun. Me too. <laughs> What is going on? Jared, if I hadn't stepped on you, you'd have attacked that man. You know that, right? What is wrong with you? Has it gotten to drinking and attacking people now? Look, you talk too much, all right? And it's beginning to ache me. Can you just let me be? Who is it? Who is that? Where does the call house with you? Cora, what exactly are you doing in my house? Okay, now it's obvious that both of you lack the understanding of boundaries. You do not know what boundaries mean, do you? Now, Jared wants nothing to do with you, mm. okay? okay? So get out. <laughs> you know, for a couple who loves sneaky links, you both should live under expectations. Hmm? Cora, you cannot come into my house and disrespect me. Okay, you cannot do that! Oh, please shut up! Why? Or what? Tell me, Demi, what will you do? You can do absolutely nothing. Now tell your pugnosing husband to leave his nose out of my business. He can sniff whatever he wants, but I will not tolerate him sniffing anything around me. He should stay the hell away from me. Do you understand that? Listen, Cora. Hmm. Jared was drunk. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that is all there is to this. I promise you, he will never bother you again. <laughs> how sure are you? Demi? Delusional Demi, how sure are you? You know, I see your face. I see that worry, that fear in your face. Whenever he stares at me, whenever he's looking at me, I can see how jealous you look. And you know that's never going to go away. Yeah? Get out. Uh, do you know why? Do you know why you will always be scared? Because once a cheat, always a cheat. This fear, this worrying, this scary feeling you have going on, it's never going to go away. Because no matter how careful you are, you will always live with that fear that he's going to leave you. He will surely leave you once again. Cora. Mm -hmm. Now I said, mm -hmm. get out of my house. Get out of my house! adults but then you keep your master dog to yourself and out of my business let that sink in i'm not going to tell you again get out Mm. Wait, what was he trying to do? <coughs> Fight Charles? Are you asking what? me? Carl, I don't know what is going on in that crazy mind of his. But you need to see Demi's face. Heesh. She was red with anger <laughs> and <laughs> ugly. <laughs> Are you okay? Girl, I am doing amazing. I'm better than I've ever been in my entire life and I'm thankful for that. At least I'm not the one that is worried that her husband is going to run off at any time with another woman. <laughs> mm-hmm. Second that. <sighs> Paddy. He was fuming now. He was very angry. Jared. The way he was looking. Angry? Yes. He can go to a hell for all I care. <laughs> I'm born to arches, baby. <laughs> <laughs> because, really. Hmm. <laughs> But when I entered with Charles, the way he was looking at me, I could sense jealousy. And it was this intense anger and discomfort in him. Oh. Mm. Hmm. That guy is still in love with me and I can tell. And I will definitely use it to my advantage. 
What's this? What's this face? <laughs> What's this smack on your face? What? You know, whenever you have this face on, you are up to something. Mm. What are you thinking? Cora! Cora! Mm. You are up to no good. Hmm. of you doing this, okay? Enough of you gaslighting me. Enough of you making it look like I don't see these things. I am not stupid. Cora was here. What? Yes. Cora was here. Okay, she came to warn you, Jared. To stay off her business. Do you know what that woman did to me? That woman humiliated me. She talked down on my family. Because of what? Because you refused to stay at a place. And who said I talked to her? Huh? Who said I'm after her? You know, Jerry, this attitude of yours, making me look like I'm stupid, annoys me. I saw you, okay? I saw you talking to her at dawn. Why? But you said it was over between you two. Uh, well, even if I'm talking to her, so what? Did I say I want to marry her? Huh? Look, I don't blame you. You just wake up. You've not even allowed somebody to wake up properly. Where are you going, Jared? Jared, you are still talking! Jared! Cora. Cora, Cora. Cora, come on. Please stop ignoring me. Say something to me. Yell. Do something. But don't 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 keep mute on me, please. Now, are you going to leave me alone? Or should I talk with another slap? Hmm? You can hit me all you want. You can slap me, you can do anything. I'll take it. I just, I just need a moment with you. Go to hell! Go to bloody hell! Not until I've spoken to you. You need to hear me out, please. Okay, you must be really ashamed of yourself. You need to be. Your wife is probably in there waiting for you to come in and you're here. I bring my wife into this. I just want to have a few words with you, that's all. Please, just hear me out. If you don't let me, I'll keep coming. I'll keep disturbing. I just need to talk to you, please. Cora, 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 I'll keep coming. Cora. That's not why you're here, okay? I'm not your friend. So don't talk to me or chat with me like we're friends. I heard you tried to harass my guest. So I left a little warning with your wife. I'm sure she will lead a message to you. Your guest? Is that all he is to you? And who are you to ask him such questions? Look, you never remarried. Even when you could have. You're pretty. You're young. You're endowed. And with all this... Stop it! Stop it! Is it because you're holding on? Hmm? Is it because you're still... <clears throat> you're still in love with me? Stop it and get out of my house! Get out of my house! You insolent bastard! Get out! Get out! You're moving to... 
to slow. Get out! The smelling guts on you. Wrong. Did, did, did anything happen with, with someone? Are you okay? I... <laughs> What's on your mind, Cora? Well, how about I just give them a taste of their own medicine? Well, it could be, but believe me, it's definitely going to be fun. <laughs> okay. to give you a full family, okay? Okay. Good. So you're going to have daddy by your side and mommy by your side. <laughs> I know you like that, right? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> okay, so um, why don't you keep this aside and try to Close your eyes and sleep. Okay. okay. What, Jerry. what do you mean we need to find another apartment? I just paid for this apartment and spent a lot of money to get it up to the standard. So what are you talking about? Move to where? This apartment, Jared, is ruining our lives. It's ruining our marriage. All your insecurities are. I told you this place is just a stone throw from my workplace. All right? I'm not leaving here until I have a very good reason to. So Cora is not the reason enough? Tell me what's your problem. Cora doesn't even speak to you. Neither do you. So what's, what, what's the big deal? What's your issue? Jared, so after every single thing that has happened, you still don't say the big deal? You don't? Listen, I am not comfortable having my family around her. I am not! Babe, 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 listen. What do you really want? Huh? You need some kind of assurance that I'm going to be here? I really am. I'm not going anywhere. I just want my husband. Don't you bloody touch me! 
You what is wrong with you? You can't walk like this. I need to take you home. Don't fucking touch me. If I need help, I have a million and one friends I would call and they will come to my aid. I don't need you. And you have to sit by the roadside to wait for them for God knows how long. Now, do you really think I'll stick around and let that happen? Let me take you home. I don't think it. If you touch me one more time, I'm going to punch you in the face. I don't care. We're in the full glare of the public, all right? You don't have to create the scene. Your leg is badly hurt. Let me take you home. <laughs> Let me take you home. Let me see this, please. Ah! Wait. Don't. Uh, I will get myself up. All right. Ah! See. Ah! <clears throat> Can you? Do you mind? You have to do this. Walk. Don't hold me so tight. The reason why I Don't freaking hold me so tight. You just Hello, Nadia. Are you okay? Of course I'm okay. How are you? Demi, where's your husband? Jared? Um, he went for a run. He went to jog. Why? I sent you some messages on WhatsApp. Check them. I just felt it would be right for you to know. what? Just check. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. give you something to eat, okay? But first, I want you to go up. Okay, mommy. When I return, I'll give you something to eat, okay? Okay. But don't come down till I call for you, okay? Okay. All right, go. In, I'm fine. Leave. Use the door. I never had the chance to tell you how sorry I was. I still am. Leave. You're still late for that. That's because you never gave me the chance to apologize. You parked out that night after the call, and I never saw you until until you came to court for the divorce. And your lawyers wouldn't let me see you afterwards. Hmm. But well, that is what restraining orders are for. To restrain people you don't trust near you. Babe, hear me out just this once, please. Why? Huh? You want to tell me how sorry you are for sleeping with my friend and getting her pregnant? Or that it was a mistake? All of that is lies. But, and I don't want to hear it. But I'm sorry and I still am. Mm. I never wanted to leave. If you hadn't left, I wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. 
But then you went ahead to have a child with her. The same kid that you said you cannot have with me, you had with her. Well, I don't care about that anymore. That is all in the past. I am fine where I am. Well, life is better from where I stand. You two suit each other. We can fix this. I can assure you we can fix this. You're the soulmate designed for me. I never stopped loving you. Just give me the chance to fix this for you. To fix this for us, please. I miss you so much. And Demi? I can divorce her. Mm. Yes. She was just a stupid fling that shouldn't have happened in the first place. Maybe I can fix this for you. I can fix this for us. You need to go. Sure. Yeah. What, Cora? Girl, it was fun. Okay? I almost forgot what it felt like to properly be held by a man. This is not a good idea, Cora. This is not a good idea. I mean, what about Charles? The one that genuinely loves you? Um, please tell me. If I don't punish them for everything they did to me, who will? Karma. Karma will be. Nonsense! I am Kama. I looked at her face. I saw the anger in her eyes and it thrills me. Hmm? I'm pretty sure that wherever he is right now, he's gaslighting her. The circle has just started. Let's enjoy it. What about Charles? Cora, don't go losing a good man because of all of this. Daddy, this was my happiness to me. I heard my heart chattered. By the two people I loved the most. And the crazy thing is that you tried to warn me. You tried to tell me. But I felt it was impossible to be true. Look at me now. Stupid Cora. But that is over. I know better now. Cora. It's not worth it. It's not. Look, these people don't deserve your strength. They don't. I almost said I was going to give it. All I have to do is watch him do all the work. I would drop pieces of me here and there and watch him destroy his family by himself while I steal from them everything that he stole from me. Cora! Yes. All you have to be worried about right now is me loving anyone in this state. If I don't deal with them, I will not properly love anybody. <sighs> okay, fine. I support you, okay? I support whatever decision you decide to take. Exactly. I guess you're right. As you should, my love. You know what, let's just eat. I'm hungry. You should have been eating since and not worry about <laughs> Demi and uh, and. I'm Jared. just worried about you, what the okay? Hell? Okay, what is this? What is this nonsense? Have you lost it? What are you doing, Cora? Huh? Seducing Jared into taking you back? Is that it? God, 
How low can you get into trying to get an ex back? Mm. Isn't it crazy? Seducing. Let me use the word seducing. Me and you know that you have no right to use that word. You seem to have forgotten how you got this man in the first place, huh? You. Stay away from my family. <laughs> Stay away! You are so funny. You're really cracking me up this afternoon. Family? Please tell me what family? Hmm? So you think opening your leg for a man and having a child for him makes you family? You're delusional. Crazy. Yes. He married me. Okay? He loves me. <laughs> he married me. He loves me. He married you and he loves you and that is why he's all over me. Begging me. You know that's a lie. You are a liar, Cora. Okay, okay. Okay, you know what? I will ask you a question right now. And please, be sincere with yourself. If he hadn't left me, would he have married you? Hmm? Sweetie, Jerry doesn't love you. He has no single feelings for you. He's with you because he doesn't want to stay alone. He doesn't want to be by himself. He's lonely. And you see this fight? This constant fight you are having with yourself and me, that's why you constantly do it. You constantly fight because you know that this so-called family that you have is not certain. You can lose it at any time like this. Cora, mm -hmm. you know nothing about me, okay? Absolutely nothing! And you know nothing about Jared! He kissed me! Yes, he did! While you were at home waiting for him to come back from his so-called jogging, his lips were jogging mine. What? Oh yes, my darling. And it still tastes the same. It still tastes sweet. And just so you know, whenever he kisses you, he's going to be thinking about me. Hello? Hello? Jared, what the hell? How did you get my... I am at the restaurant where we, you know, had our first dinner. So? So I was wondering if you would love to have dinner with me here tonight. Like old times. <laughs> it's the guts you have to think that I will leave everything that I'm doing because my ex-husband wants me to do so. After everything that you did to me. I Then don't. But for the past seven years, whenever I come here, I just can't seem to get you off my head. This once, please. I have a lot to say to you. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's do it. Alicia! 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 Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Baby! Oh my god, Alicia! Baby, what is it? My stomach, my stomach! And I told Charles to give me time. Mm -hmm. It would give me space to handle this, and that's the only way that I would not gaslight him or disrespect him. And once I'm done with this, I'll handle the rest. Okay, love. Mm. By the way, you look dangerously stunning. Thank you. <laughs> now go get those evil hats. Ah, and yeah. do what you gotta do, okay? Mm, you have no idea what I have planned out for these people. Evil people. <laughs> What is it? For God's sakes, I'm in a meeting. I'll call you back when I can, okay? Stop calling. What the hell?
hell is wrong with her? to look breathtaking. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I I miss doing that. <laughs> Why didn't you call me? <laughs> My oh, so Why didn't you call me, baby? I was just right beside. Okay, Nadia, Nadia, please, please. I hope this is not one of your shifts. Mommy, my stomach! It's Alicia, sorry, baby. It's Alicia. She's not feeling too good. Nadia, please, I need your help. Mommy! I'm sure you can hear her, please. I just. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. It's okay, it's okay, baby. Come. Come. Why didn't you call me? I was just in the next room, my love. Come. My stomach, mommy. Okay, so Nadia is coming. She'll be here soon. Okay, my soul, Mark, please. Why did you come to get me? I could. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's okay. You know, I usually reminisce about the past. We had such a perfect marriage. Mm. Everything was really, really good, you know. Yeah. But I messed it up. Well, it doesn't matter anymore, okay? I can make it matter again. Let's go back to being man and wife. You know, let's have the perfect marriage we used to have. Mm. We can have kids. Yes, we can, we can live the life that we always wanted to live. The life that we dreamt of. Okay. Yeah. You know? So you're willing to leave your wife and child Cora, because of me? Come on, you were there before then. I just, I just miss the company. I miss us. I miss, I miss the intimacy, everything. I just want us to go back there. Mm. Right? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Nadia. Yeah. yeah. What's my daughter doing? She's asleep. I gave her some drugs based on the symptoms. But in case the pain persists, I will we'll have to run some tests. I'll probably do a scan too. So, uh. Okay. But she's going to be alright at least. Of course. I mean, we'll get to know when she wakes up. Where is your husband in all of this? Where is Jared? He's at work, Nadia. Work. He walked off after we had a fight about Cora. He refused my meals. Then he said he had to be in a meeting and went off. Are we recording about Alicia? I couldn't get a hold of him after a while. Cora said they kissed today. What? Yes. But I think that's a lie. And I think she said that to get to me. 
but for some reasons I still can't get that thought out of my head, Nadia. So, so the thought of Jared's hands on her again. Nadia, I don't think I can do this. I can't anymore. No, don't, don't talk like that. I mean, this is your home. This is your family. You need to fight. Okay? Are you just going to let her have your home? You have a baby for him. Please, my friend, you need to fight. This is your home. No woman will just come and take it. Please. Everything is going to be fine, okay? And I hope you're not starving yourself because of this. No, 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 I'm not, Nadia. I'm actually making something in the kitchen. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I didn't come up with you. That's nice. I'll eat afterwards. Right. Don't Thank worry, you. she'll be fine. Hmm? Thank you. Thank you so much, Nadia. You're welcome. What kind of a thing is this? What kind of a thing is this? <laughs> it's in Miss Coles and Jared is not even taking his calls. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> God, please, please. <laughs> sorry, baby. Sorry, Jared. Pick up your calls, please. What is this? <laughs> God, what am I supposed to do? What? Sorry, sorry, okay? I'm just here with you, okay? And I'm not going to leave you, I promise. While you were at home waiting for him to come back from jogging, his lips were jogging mine. <laughs> and he still tastes the same. Now get the hell out of my way and always remember that anytime he kisses you, he's thinking of me. I should not worry about you. What are you doing here, Padita? Hold on. Are, are you stalking me now? 
it. Femi, don't you have any shame? Don't you? Your best friend's husband. Adita, he's divorcing her. Okay? He said he's tired of the marriage. <laughs> what? Is that what he told you? Listen, Paddy. I will not be doing this if I didn't have his consent. Okay? So you see, it's the man who is destroying his marriage, not me. Ah, he said he's tired of the marriage and he will divorce Cora soon. <laughs> tell me. You know, I actually did tell Cora about the both of you. But she would not believe me. She would not. Because she had so much trust in you guys. Such a shame. Well, I'm just following my heart, Padita. Jared is my heart. <laughs> and Jared is a rapid dog that has met his match. Padita! Yes! You heard me. Do you really think that he's going to leave his wife for you? Demi! He's not! But guess what? The moment Cora finds evidence on the both of you cheating on her, she will not hesitate to leave this marriage. <laughs> she won't. Mind your business, Padita. <laughs> Tell me, Demi. Do you know what you're never really going to have? Should I tell you? His heart. Because men like Jared, <laughs> men like Jared, only live for the thrill of the moment. And the moment he finds a new one, it is over for you, Demi. Over. So tell me, is it really worth losing your, your best friend and people that love you over this? Is it? Padita. Get out of my face. And like I said, mind your own business. Mind your business. That is disgusting. <laughs> I wish that you could see the future when we started together The reason why I sing this song is so that you know I love you. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Party baby, Girl. you know you always seem to call at the very right time. My revenge is halfway done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Jared, is that you? Jared? Where were you? Shh. 
You don't keep late nights. But now you even skip nights. I told you I went for a meeting. Right? Where? Because I called your work. And they said there was no meeting scheduled for Saturday. So where were you, Jared? Wait, did you go about asking about me? Really? Alicia was sick! I called and called and called you, Jerry, but you did not pick my calls. I had to go around asking about you. So, where were you? How was Alicia? Is, is this... Is that all you're going to say? What do you mean is that all I'm going to say? Look, I had a really rough day yesterday, alright? All I want to do right now is just cool off, okay? Like you should be welcoming me home. That's what you should be doing and not asking me stupid questions. Please, let me finish what I was doing. Do you mind? Daddy's going to be here soon, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm happy to see you too. <laughs> you are so fine, my daughter. Mm. Okay, you know what? Just relax. Mommy's going to go downstairs and make you something to eat. Something deserving of a princess like you. Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you too, my baby. Mm. Okay, sit, okay? Okay. I'm coming. Don't do nothing, don't stress yourself. I'm just going to serve you breakfast in bed. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> with my heart, Make up your mind. Okay, did this fool come back for me? <sighs> really has no dignity. <sighs> okay, you must be crazy. Because there's no rational explanation. What exactly do you want, Cora? What? Okay, first of all, two, you don't come to my house and yell at me like that. Do you understand? Secondly, be specific. What do you want? My family. Hmm. What exactly do you want with us? Because I've seen the way you look at us with so much hatred yet you spend so much time with my husband my husband my husband my husband such title for a man who doesn't even give two flying f's about you what what you both really have no shame do you hmm instead of you to take your two left legs and go ask that man that you married the man that you claim to love Instead, you're coming to the house of the woman whose husband you were sleeping with years ago. Make it make sense. That was years ago, Cora. That was years back. That does not mean that that's who I am now. Cora, what happened to you? You, you, you used to be so sweet. When did you become so hateful? You used to be so pretentious, very pretentious. Now, if you don't have anything important to say, get the hell out of my house. I don't entertain snakes. Out. Where was Jared last night, Cora? And why do you have to ask me that? 
because he left. <laughs> because he left my sick child and I. He went out. Slept out. And just came back this morning. Smelling of you, Cora! Daddy! Hey! How are you? Come here. Fine. Mm. Mm. How are you? Oh, fine. You weren't here last night. I was so scared. The mom was so worried and sad. I'm sorry, baby. Don't worry. I'll never leave you by yourself again. Okay? Okay. okay? I missed you, Daddy. And I missed you, too. But you know that it's got to work. Mm. Hmm? Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Can I we check on that? Mm. <laughs> Come here. Mm. You're scared. Hmm? That while your daughter was suffering, your husband was in the arms of another woman. The same way you were a sneaky link, yes? Cora. Don't play with me. Was my husband here? Okay, I told you earlier not to yell in my house and I will not repeat myself. If you're so curious, why not go and ask him yourself? Oh. <laughs> you don't trust him, do you? If he can do it to me, then what the hell are you? I'm sure you're smart enough to understand that. Yes? Now you... Listen to me, Cora. Your relationship with him ended. Okay? Now you get another life. Get another man. Move on and leave us alone. Who do you think you are to come to my house and make demands? A desperate woman like you ready to sleep with anything. You are in my house, under my roof, trying to remind me about morals. Something you and your family clearly lack. Cora! Hmm. I can see you're really curious. So I'll put you out of your misery and give you a piece of advice. Why not buy him fresh on this? Yes. You know, the one he wore yesterday, I know he didn't buy it himself. He hates red. <gasps> Hey. I said, what did you do? <laughs> Jared was indeed here yesterday. And he was extremely, very, very busy. <laughs> now get the hell out of my house. Because I am done talking to a disgraceful woman like you. Get out. <gasps> out! <laughs> I'm not even in his life, yet he did pick me any day over you. I realize you might want some proof to believe just how another of his toy you are. So I attach some pictures to spice things up. Baby, is everything okay? Huh? What? What are you? What are you Don't doing? you dare take another step. What's <laughs> going? how you want to divorce her and abandon both her and her child so you could be with me. You. <laughs> Tell her. 
tell her how you regret being with her. How you only married her because you were lonely. You cannot stop thinking about me. Go ahead, Jared. This is the moment of truth. Just say it to her. Say it to her. Jared, Jared, you, you are evil. You are evil. You are evil. You are evil. Wait. No, 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 no. no. Let him be. It's not worth it. Let's go, it's all right. <laughs> what kind of a man are you, Jared? What kind of a man are you? <laughs> I need you to pack your things, okay? We need to go somewhere. Mommy, are you okay? I'm fine. Just pack your things. Oh, Alicia, I said pack your things! Okay. Start packing. Alicia! Hey. Alicia! Hey, hey, please, please, Get out. Get out, Jared! Please. Jared, you are a self-centered man. You are a self-centered man who family means absolutely nothing to. And my child could have died. But where were you? In the arms of another woman, your ex-wife. Trust me, it wasn't, it wasn't my fault. She seduced me. Yes, she seduced me. Look, I'm really sorry, my love. I'm, I'm sorry. We can fix this. We've, we've fixed bigger problems than this before. Please. please. What is wrong with you? Chasing after a woman is what you call seducing? Why? You see, that woman wanted to destroy us. It's you, Jared. You gave her room to do that. That's what you did. Sorry, you can't even do anything like that now. If you can't even my child, you see, you don't have any money. You how would you survive? I will survive, okay? Somehow, somewhere, we will survive. You can't leave me like this now. Not after everything. Jared, you said it. You said you were not going to love another woman except me. I thought I was the chosen one. You're the chosen one, I swear. Get out of my way! Get out! Hey, please, I love you so Alicia! Much. Alicia! Get out! I mean, it's. Get out of my way! Get out! Get out of my way! I won't let you go, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't let you like that. No, babe, babe, please! Get out! There you go. What is this to Well, <clears throat> I thought about what you said. And I said, why not? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. And you have to do something about those maniacal neighbors of yours. Oh, I will tell you this for sure. You do not have to worry about those. I take care of that. So, this is to us and to a new beginning. To a new beginning indeed. Make up your mind. Is the 
tired of running up and down roller coaster. Make up. 